Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be opening the Season 6 Zero Gravity Unlimited Showdown tier box. Uh, huge shout out to my boy EFX for letting me hop on his account to record this video. Just like the last couple seasons, he has knocked out Showdown very, very early in the season. Managed to go 118 to level, which is a pretty darn good record. And uh, just like the other seasons, it takes 118 wins to complete Showdown tier. Um, yeah, 53 wins to get the Galaxy Opal player. I'm sorry, to get Galaxy Opal tier done, which gets you Dark Batter, Bob, Nedelicki, and then another 65 to complete uh, Showdown tier. You have to go 65 and 17 or better to complete showdown tier and get this reward box so showdown tier box is always one of the best rewards that you can get in any my team season and i'm excited to open this box and see how good it is this season what we can pull uh, before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 4,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day and we really appreciate your support if you haven't already if you do subscribe literally less than 20 something subscribers away from that mark trying to hit that in the very very near future just the next couple days so make sure you all do subscribe if you haven't already but without further ado let's not wait any time and let's hop right into it starting off with the first page i think you are still guaranteed two hall of fame badges we'll see what else is coming in the box definitely going to be some good items though got a diamond a couple diamond items in this box right here a shoe and a contract obviously that is a w right there we will take that a few gold badges as well nothing special there but some of those gold badges if you get better ones can definitely go for a good amount of mt as we have two players and it's a pink diamond and a galaxy opal so they have also added a galaxy opal to the showdown tier box just like they did with um um, the pink diamond tier box um, earlier that you can also grind this season. They've added a Galaxy Opal player, so that's nice. 96 overall. Is this going to be Trey Young? No. Is this Josh Smith? Oh, Josh Smith. Well, you know what? We'll take that. Uh, Galaxy Opal Josh Smith. That's a nice little poll. Going to go for, I don't know, 7,000 MT, something like that. Let's see if this Galaxy Opal player is a Dynamics ratings player or a normal Galaxy Opal. Because if it's a normal Galaxy Opal, it could really go for a lot of MT. If it's a Dynamic ratings player, not quite as much, but it's going to be a 90 something overall. Is this Dwayne Wade? Yo, Dwayne Wade buzzer. This is actually a really good poll because this is a 50 ish thousand MT card. He is expensive, and that is a great, great poll. The fact that you can get a non Dynamics rating Galaxy Opal opal um is absolutely phenomenal that's going to add a lot of value to this box for sure which is definitely a nice to see got a couple more gold items gold quick for step is a good badge as well as ball shipper. that's two great badges right there as well another diamond contract plus four speed is an awesome shoe boost as well we are looking at a lot of value in this box so far a couple diamond contracts diamond shoe boosts gold badges uh galaxy opal player and a pink diamond player that looks like it's random players uh, and then a hall of fame badge i assume right here it could also be an amethyst player but it might be a hoff badge probably is a hoff badge let's see if we can get a good hall of fame badge for my boy e3 i already opened it oh yes let's go man w's let's freaking go man clamps is a really really good badge to pull i know they're putting that on a lot of cards at this point in the year but that's a badge that you can add to a big man still and definitely still upgrade that card add a lot of value to them if you're trying to sell them in the auction house as well so that is a great badge to pull right there definitely love to see that four more diamond items in this box ball handles another great shoe boost rebound chaser is a good badge three point shot is a great shoe boost fat drop out eh, not so much i'll be honest but uh and mid-range shot is okay but three point range three point and ball handles are both very very good um this badge is looking absolutely or box is looking absolutely incredible right now which is definitely what you love to see three more gold items and a couple diamond items in this one as well it's gonna be more badges gold intimidator is a great badge um acrobat let's see what these diamond items are looking like plus four driving dunk that's another solid shoe boost right there and plus four block which is a very very good shoe boost uh, a lot of good shoe boosts in this box as well i'm just i'm very impressed with how good this box is looking this season um a very very deep box as well which is one thing i will say that hasn't always been true in previous seasons uh is it looks like you get a lot of value out of this box gonna be making a couple hundred thousand mt in addition to getting a couple hall of fame badges and stuff like that so that is super super nice to see for sure but uh gold downhill is the next badge that we're going to get additionally we have a gold drop stepper and then also gold post lockdowns so three more gold badges we'll take those uh, post lockdowns a solid badge plus for ball handle again another very very solid diamond shoe boost in addition to diamond pass accuracy not very good you know we will not that's not what we're looking for to be honest this might be the last page of this box i'm not entirely sure or maybe it isn't because i think there's still two hall of fame badges or one more hall of fame badge so maybe this isn't the last page but another diamond shoe boost is or not shoe boost i'm sorry it's gonna be a diamond shoe we'll take a converse some players are limited to only being able to wear converse so that might actually be a little bit one more of the expensive side of the shoes um interior defense is obviously a very good shoe boost love those defensive ones offensive consistency definitely not as good and then another one which 
which is going to be plus four block again. So a lot of good shoe boost. Definitely going to be making a lot of MT for E off of these shoe boosts. Let's see what this pink diamond player is looking like. Um, is it going to be a dynamic ratings player or another random pink diamond? Number four from the Eastern Conference. It's another random player. I'm liking this. These random players definitely give you a chance at more value out of these packs. And it's going to be Alter Ego Dolph Shays, which to be fair, at this point in the year probably doesn't hold a lot of value. But again, we will take that every single day of the week. And if you get lucky, you can pull pink diamonds that are worth a lot more MT than the two that I pulled. And obviously the Galaxy Opal could be a player that makes you a ton of MT as well. So definitely I'm liking that it's not just restricted to dynamic ratings players this season, but it's uh, you can basically pull any sort of pink diamond. So that is definitely awesome to see. And we have one final page. I'm pretty sure this is the last page anyway. Three more diamond items, a Hall of Fame badge, and a gold shoes. Or uh, not a gold shoe. I'm sorry. A uh, gold exchange card. This is the 15,000 XP towards season seven also, which also is great to have because if you're trying to go for level 40, the level 39 half beyond level 40, things like that. This is a great way to get it. And Spew of Ball is another awesome shoe boost as well. This is such a good box. Really, really are getting a ton of value out of here. Post took not the best shoe boost right there. And we get another post, a uh, post control. The post took post control, not great. But Steel Ball is one of the best shoe boosts you can get. We've gotten a lot of phenomenal shoe boosts. We got one more Hall of Fame badge. Leave a guess down in the comment section down below. What Hall of Fame badge do you think this is going to be? This is another good Hall of Fame badge. This is the best showdown box I have ever opened, bar none. I got to be completely honest. Because with the players we've gotten, the shoe boosts, the diamond contracts, and also already getting Hall of Fame clamps, this is looking like an absolutely phenomenal opening. But let's open this last Hall of badge in three, two, one covering my screen and it is ah that's not a good badge triple threat juke is definitely not the type of badge you're looking for i'll be completely honest that is not what we were looking for but hoff clamps and all the other value that we got out of this box still makes it very very useful so for me personally especially looking at all the stuff we got this uh out of this box i think it's gonna be kind of hard to find all of it but uh season rewards this should be just xp i assume yeah it's season six xp uh we get some uh, Galaxy Opal and Pink Diamond players, one or two Pink Diamonds, Dolph Shays, I'm not sure how much he goes for, uh, like 10k MT, and then um, Josh Smith as well, but also uh, Galaxy Opal Wade, which how much does Galaxy Opal Wade go for? Uh, he's pretty expensive, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a 50,000 plus MT poll. Like, this is a very, very good poll. A lot of MT made just out of that, but uh, also you get shoe boosts, um, diamond shoes, things like that as well, which are super, super nice. I uh, got, what, four diamond shoes out of that box in addition to the Hoff badges, which Hoff clamps is amazing. Hoff triple threat juke, not so much, but definitely am not going to complain about any of those polls and a bunch of diamond shoe boosts, which include speeds, view of ball, block, interior defense, three point shot. Those are some really, really good shoe boosts. Ball handle as well we got a couple of those so definitely am liking this box a lot this season a couple or only one diamond contract but that's fine i mean if that's another 15 to twenty thousand mt right there off of selling that's gonna look yeah another at least fifteen thousand mt like this box is absolutely incredible definitely worth grinding in my personal opinion if you have the time and are good enough at the game to where you want to push towards that because uh yeah these are amazing rewards and i definitely do think it is worth grinding out for each and everybody uh who has the time and is good enough and unlimited to get it done because you're gonna make a lot of mt out of it and have the chance to to get some great Hoff badges to either upgrade your team or put on a player and sell them for profit. So uh, definitely do think this box is very worth grinding, like I said a couple times. So hopefully you did enjoy this video and it gave you a good picture of what you can get out of the showdown tier box. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.